hi guys in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can fix this product has inventory but shows are sold out now this is very a very very common problem now i'm going to be showing you guys multiple solutions and see which one is going to work for you okay so i have come up with multiple uh solutions for this problem so make sure you watch this video till the end so that you don't make any mistake in this process so let's get started right now now the first thing you need to do guys is you want to go to your own shopify dashboard okay and you want to click on products okay so after guys you click on products you will be able to see the pro products here that you have a problem with now for example i have a pr uh, problem with this one okay so what you guys need to do is to click here if you see here inventory as you can see and it says here inventory not tracked uh just ignore this okay and you want to click on this title here as you can see the title of the product click on it now after that guys you want to scroll down a little bit and here you will find the like multiple uh, variants if you have like a product with different sizes different colors um you just need to click here or it says just select all these okay select all these check all these uh variants okay now you want to check all in the top here as you can see okay make sure you check all and then you want to click on these three little dots here where it says more actions okay now see if you can see here continue selling uh even if out of stock now if you can see it here that's good if you are if, if you cannot see it here then what you guys need to do is you want to unselect everything and then click on it says here variant and then click on one of these variants okay if you have like a product only with like five variants just click on one of the colors or size click on it now after guys you click on it you want to scroll down okay so after guys you click on, after you scroll down you want to click here it says track quantity okay so when you click on track quantity you want to click here it says continue selling when out of stock okay so after that guys you want to increase the quantity here the available quantity here as you can see it's set to zero now i'm going to increase this to 10 for example and then click on save okay so after guys you click on save what you guys need to do next is you want to click again on save in the top right and then you want to go back to your product the same product okay click on the title again and you want to scroll down guys and you now you want to select all the variants okay and then click on three little dots and now you will be able to see here continue selling when out of stock okay so now you want to edit the quantities then select here one of the locations in my case i'm going to select this with the location this location where the, the stock is look like where the the items are located now i'm going to increase it to 10 and then click on done and then click on save okay so as you can see we have increased the available quantity to 10 as you can see here okay uh it says here update for the individual variant only now i'm going to click here just uh select all the the variants okay just select uh each variant selected and do the exact same thing click on track quantity continue selling and then click on save okay now see if the problem is still there okay if you if you still have the problem then follow these other solutions that i'm about to show you right now okay now another thing guys you can do is you want to click on settings at the very bottom left now after that guys you want to click here on locations as you can see now after guys you click on locations you will be able to see here the locations where you stored the items now you just need to create or add the location here just click on add location if you have if you don't have it all if you don't have the location okay now after you add the name and the address then what you guys need to do is you want to click on save and now you will be able to see the, the locations here now in my case i only have one location now you just need to click on the location because now i have only one location okay so you want to click on it and you want to uncheck here where it says fulfillment use inventory at this location to fulfill online orders as you can see here now if it's checked you want to uncheck it okay just uncheck it this box and check it okay because this is my default location i cannot do that but it's if you if you can uncheck this just uncheck it and then make sure you click on save if it's unchecked then click on check it okay do the opposite of what you see here and then after after you click on save go back to the product and see if the problem is still there or not okay now another way guys 
you want to go again to the product as you can see here in the left and then you want to click on the title of the product and now if it's if the inventory is tracked you want to untrack it okay so click on each variant and then click on the color or size or whatever and make sure you uncheck this way it says track quantity just don't like as you can see it's not tracked okay and then you want to click on save now the people can like the, your customers will be able to purchase the products from your store now another way guys is if you have downloaded for example printify or printful you want to like like remove it and install it again this may be the solution for you guys if you are using a third party app like printful or printify okay just go to settings and you want to click on apps and sales channels and you want to select the app here and then you want to uninstall it and then install it again okay so if this all if these all the like all, all these solutions don't work then another way guys is to click on products click on the title again and you want to add the new variants okay new variants now if you have a, pro a pro problem only with an uh, like some variants then you want to delete them and then what you guys need to do is to add the new variants as you can click on add variants okay and then select here the size which is m and then the color i'm going to select uh blue and make sure you uh select here which uh, inventory will be stocked at here as you can see and if you click here on track inventory make sure you add here the inventory for example to 10 okay make sure you select again continue selling when out of stock and then click on save okay of course you will have to add the image for this specific variant okay if it's a different color of course now if it's a size doesn't matter so that's exactly guys and then delete the old variants this is solution if you have like some problems with uh, some variants you can just delete them and then add new one okay so yeah if you have guys any questions let me know in the comments i reply to I, I try to reply to everyone so let me know in the comments and drop a like and see you guys in the next tutorial